Hi, I'm Sean Ryan with Global Surgical. Welcome to our brief introduction to the Global A-Series Microscope. Today we're going to discuss the many benefits to using a microscope in a dental practice, how to use specific options of the microscope and components, and then go over the many features of our Global A-Series Microscope. One of the major benefits of using the microscope in dentistry is the increased magnification. With the microscope, you have the option of going from a low of 2x all the way up to a high of nearly 20x magnification. And obviously, dentistry is all about what you can see, so illumination and the brightness of that light is very important. Using the microscope, not only is it very bright and well illuminated, you're seeing this, the light is following the same path as what your vision follows, so there's shadow-free vision inside the patient's mouth. Using the microscope allows you to sit in an upright ergonomic position, allowing you to also practice longer and healthier than what you normally would using loops or the way you're practicing today. Improved patient communication is also a huge benefit with the microscope. It allows your patients or a child's parent to see what is going on inside the patient's mouth just as you see it and be able to explain better so they understand what needs to be done and are happy to have that procedure taken care of. The Global A-Series Microscope features axis control system, meaning that all of the movements and controls of the microscope are easily within reach and located at the center of gravity of the microscope body. If you can reach the handle, you can maneuver the microscope and intuitively find where the magnification changer is so you can switch conveniently between low magnification to high magnification without having to search for the handles or the magnification changer. Now we're going to go over some of the key components of the microscope itself. It all starts with the objective lens. The objective lens, it provides the focal length of how far the target is away from the microscope to be in focus. This particular microscope is using what's called our multifocal objective lens. With this little knob right here, you can go anywhere from 200 millimeters to 350 millimeters away from your target tooth and get in focus just by turning this knob. The other standard option for uh, objective lens on the microscope is a fixed objective lens. And those come in different varieties, beginning with a 200 millimeter, 225 millimeter, 250 millimeter, and a 300 millimeter. We're finding that most customers today are opting for the multifocal lens because of the flexibility and good ergonomics it provides. The objective lens easily threads into the next component on our system, which is the body itself. The body is where the glass tumblers are for the optical train system that ultimately make, produces the image to the operator's eye. Attached to the body are the handles, and at the handles themselves are magnification changers. And inside of here is a little turret that rotates around to reflect the magnification changers, and it's like a Galilean telescope inside there. So if you look at the glass one way, it makes the image larger. You flip that to the inverse, it makes it smaller. That's essentially what's going on inside of this optical body right here by changing this magnification turret. The handles themselves can articulate and rotate around. They're almost not intuitive in the sense that we don't want them to move easily and throw the operator off by trying to change positions. So you're forced to push in on the handle and then rotate it into the desired position and it locks in automatically once positioned. Very important feature of the microscope itself is the LED light source. The Global A-Series microscope has a direct-to-port light source, meaning that the LED itself goes directly in and the light is housed in this housing right here. And there's 11 different gradients of brightness control built into the microscope or into the light source. 
and it also has standard filters where there's a clear filter for normal everyday use. It's got a amber filter so you can switch easily to the amber filter when you're working with a composite or something that you don't want to set up or cure too quickly when you're working. And then lastly, there's a green filter which is used mostly for surgeries to isolate vascularity. Moving on up, we find one of our most popular options that are sold with the microscope system. It's our HD video system, which consists of either a 1080p HD camera or a 4K HD camera. Both go onto what's called a beam splitter. And what this beam splitter does is take the light that's being reflected back up to the operator's eye and sends 50% of it to the camera system so they can get the same image is what the operator is seeing in the binoculars. Keep in mind, if the camera system is on the right-hand side, since it's only seeing one path of light, the image is only gonna see what the operator's right eye sees. If your operator happens to be left eye dominant, you'd wanna take this off and mount it on the other side. Otherwise, the image is not gonna frame properly on the screen when they're capturing videos because their dominant eye is gonna pull the image to that side of the system. One other note on the beam splitter itself is, it can come in a single port or a dual port, meaning that a dual port, which we have here, would allow for a camera system and maybe a binocular observation system or a, a DSLR camera being attached to the same microscope at the same time. A single port, obviously then, is only one port that can actually be rotated from side to side depending on the doctor's dominant eye. Next is the car extender. What this does is an ergonomic wedge that allows the operator to sit two and a half inches further back than what they normally would so they have better ergonomic posture. Right on top of the car extender then is what we call our binocular rotation ring. And what this allows for is if a doctor ever has to work off axis, the parallel axis, say tip the microscope to one side, with this ring you can simply just turn the binoculars and now it's still parallel to the floor allowing the doctor to still sit in an upright ergonomic position. And it'll rotate left or right, it's a 15 degree swing on the positioning of the microscope. One important note on the binocular rotation ring is it only functions properly if it's attached to a car extender. They work in unison to be able to provide that efficient movement. And now we move on to the business end of the microscope, the binoculars. The Global A-Series binoculars are called inclinable binoculars and the industry standard for inclining binoculars movement is about 150 to 180 degrees. The Global A-Series actually moved 220 degrees of articulation, which is quite the engineering feat to keep all the prisms and glass aligned throughout the rotation of that entire 220 degrees. Okay, another kind of important aspect of the binoculars is just the movement itself outside of the articulation. In order to get the pupillary distance set to the correct position for the operator using the scope, you simply grab the white part of the binoculars and rotate in and out. And you can actually see down here a little handy grid that gives you the millimeters of that separation so you can document that if you're going from operatory to operatory and set it. Although most becomes intuitive, they sit down, adjust these intuitively, and they're using the microscope. The Global Microscope uses 10x eyepieces, while others in the industry use a 12.5x eyepiece. What that does though is it increases the bottom magnification available on the microscope. So instead of being able to start at say that 2.1x that the Global does, they'll start at nearly 4x. So they lose that super wide field of view that many operators like to have, particularly when they're just starting to use the microscope. Another important aspect of the binocular is the eyepieces itself with the diopter settings. What this allows for is fine tuning the optics of the microscope to the particular user's vision. If a user happens to know their diopter settings for prescription, they can dial those into the microscope and off they go working. The 
eyepiece also uses a helical design, which allows the operator to fine tune the focus of the light that's hitting their eye to the sweet spot, ensuring a clear and vibrant image. It can be positioned any way the operator likes, simply by moving it manually and tightening this silver knob. All of these options can be easily added and removed at any time because we use what's called a dovetail mounting system. For example, if I want to remove these binoculars to take off an option or add an option, simply there's an Allen, you loosen the Allen up and remove the option. On the camera system, if you want to make sure that the camera is actually imaging what the operator is seeing through the binoculars in a proper orientation, you want to take a look at this cube and the HDMI cable connector should be facing directly at the operator with the power cable in the back. And that can easily be achieved just by loosening this little screw and adjusting the camera to rotate. And one other little thing that can accidentally happen in the office is there's a button on here that is used for white balance. You would wanna have this in focus on a blank white sheet of paper, tap the button once, it'll automatically white balance the camera to that particular lighting. Some offices will sometimes press and hold this button for three seconds, and that will actually flip your image 180 degrees. So if you ever have a customer that runs into that issue, just have them hold that button again for three seconds and it'll invert the image back to normal. Another important feature of the arm system is the ability to balance it. To do that, simply hold it parallel to the floor, insert the Allen and turn it left or right until it balances. So that was our introduction to the global microscope. If you have any questions, reach out to your global representative or search online at globalsurgical.com. Thanks for watching.